let's get going with a golden goal. Wakes Ricky Greensfelder just four minutes into OT. Some nifty footwork and buries it to beat Louisville. The goal lifts the Deeks to the five seed in the ACC championship. I'm Jeff Fischel. This is ACC Soccer Weekly brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. We'll check out the men's and women's brackets coming up. Who do you think wins the conference championships? Tweet us your picks at the ACCDN. Ahead, I'll speak with Virginia women's head coach Steve Swanson, who helped coach the U.S. women in World Cup qualifying last month. He's not the only one, though, finding time for both teams. So is UVA star Morgan Bryan. We'll talk about her growing role on the national team. That is all ahead. But first, what about that goal by Greensfelder? He'd been on the bench for much of the second half, re-entered the lineup to start the OT, and four minutes later, a hero. It's just it's an incredible feeling, honestly. I mean, it's awesome to just have, like help your team win a game, and like to do it in that fashion is just incredible. And especially on a night when uh, Fink and Shane, it's their senior nights, it's awesome to send them out the right way. Here's the men's bracket: the Irish, the one seed, they face the eight-nine winner, Virginia versus Virginia Tech. Wake at Clemson, Louisville at Chapel Hill. Second seed Syracuse, so tough to score on, getting NC State or Duke. The quarterfinals all this Sunday at 1 p.m. Then the semis and final next weekend. Notre Dame head coach Bobby Clark says his team is going big or going home. They want the ACC regular season, tournament, and to repeat as NCAA champs. One of his leaders, Evan Pankin, is the ACC Player of the Week. He had a goal and two assists in a 4-1 win at Pitt Saturday. And earlier in the week, Pankin also had the only goal for the Irish in their 1-1 tie against Michigan State. The women's championship, just four teams qualify, but boy are they good. It doesn't get any better than this for women's soccer fans. All four teams in the top ten. Florida State and North Carolina had identical 9-0-1 conference records, but FSU gets the one seed based on goal differential in conference games. Virginia 9-1, but only the third seed. Sunday's final is on ESPNU. And joining me now for extra time, Virginia women's soccer coach Steve Swanson. The Cavaliers 9-1 in the ACC, as I said, 17-1 overall. So, Steve, give me a sense of how you look at your team right now as you head into the postseason. Well, I think we're uh, we're coming together pretty well, actually. I think, uh, obviously, we went through a stretch without Morgan Bryan, who was at qualifying um, and was involved with national team duties. Um, so we're getting her back. And uh, so I think we're playing some of our best soccer right now. So we're excited about the championship. No, it'll be uh, a tough game against UNC, but we're looking forward to that. It was a very successful run for the U.S. women's national team, winning CONCACAF and obviously qualifying for the World Cup. Did you see Morgan start to assert herself more on the national team? She's gaining more confidence as she, as she plays more with that team. And uh, I think that, uh, you know, I think a confident Morgan Bryan is, uh, is always a, a very good thing for whatever team she's playing for. Does she have enough left in the tank now for the team, to, for the Cavaliers to make a run? Let's put it this way. We're, we're, we're happy to have her back and uh, happy that she's uh, in, a, in a good state of mind physically and mentally. I think she's excited and motivated to try to end her senior year on a positive note. Morgan Bryan looked good in the regular season finale Saturday night. Two goals in the first half, leading the Cavaliers to a 6-1 win over Pitt. Steve Swanson, head coach of the Cavaliers, really appreciate it. Taking some time out for us. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. That's ACC Soccer Weekly. You're watching the ACC Digital Network, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday.